So this tutorial is going to be covering how to set up our microscope for our Orion welder. So one of the two boxes that you would have received is the box for the microscope and your welder box. In this video, we're going to be focusing on this box here. So now that we've opened it, we can get to the white box that's in one of the corners. And with our index finger, we can actually reach in and pull it up this way. After we do that, then we can lift up from the top. And this will have all of our accessories for the welder as well as our weld, uh, our, our microscope. And so the two bags that we're going to be focusing on are these two. It'll have our wrenches and other hardware and the screws in order to mount it. We'll put those there and we'll place this box full of our other accessories to the side for now. Now going back to our box, we can lift up two layers of foam and that'll expose our microscope here. Now using two hands, I like to lift it out. One hand on the body of the, the microscope and the other hand supporting the optics side of the microscope. And I'll carefully place those right here on the table. So in order to get this to come apart, we're gonna need some clippers here. So we're gonna bring that in and while with our other hand supporting this spring because it is going to spring open, we're gonna cut that remove those to the side, and then we can gently release the pressure from that. So the first bag that we're gonna open up to do an edge mount are these components here. So this piece is going to be placed right there. But before we place that, let's access our screws and our tools. So in the other bag, we have the supplied tools in order to mount these onto our microscope. So the one that we're interested in, the one that we're interested in is this one right here. So as we open up this bag here, we're gonna pull out three of these screws to start out with. So while supporting this bracket, we are going to and thread this on just a little bit. And if your fingers don't fit, you can always put this on the end and then use that to spin it on. Then we can, and it's important to note that you need to have this loose until the other ones are on. Otherwise, it can bind the screws and cause problems. So let's twist those on. Now in this example, you'll note that this microscope has three holes and the part we're mounting it has two. So we have the ability to have it be lower for a thicker table or we can have it higher for a thinner table. In this case, my table's really thin, so I'm gonna opt into using these top two screws. So removing the last two screws in that bag, I'm going to place that in there. And again, I'm going to screw these on until they are just loose. And I didn't fully tighten the other ones on purpose because we want to make sure that this is the way that we want it. So seeing that, we can go over to here and see if that fits our table. In this case, it does. So I want to secure those on completely. I like using the short end so I have more leverage. And we can apply all the last tightening that we need to do on this mount. Finally, we're going to place it on the edge of the table and then we can use this black knob here to then tighten it until it's nice and snug. And once it gets to snug, then I do just a couple of turns and I can test by shaking the table and that's not going anywhere and we're good to go. So we're going to have all the bags that we need 
right here in order to do our through mount. So these two pieces are for our edge mount. We're going to set those aside. What we need are the screws. So opening this bag, we're going to have all the hardware as well as the tools in order to mount this. So the wrench that we're interested in is this middle silvery one. Now you'll see these three parts. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this concave side. We're going to flip it around and then we're going to put this bolt all the way through like that. And when we do that, we're going to be placing it like this. So let's put that right there while we get our screws. Now there's five in here. We're only going to need three with this mounting style. So we're going to line this up just like so. And with our finger, we're just going to find it. And I'm just going to gently screw that on. And then I can use my wrench to quickly spin that the rest of the way. Let's get one more screw here. Or you can set it up like this and do the whole process with the wrench. Now I'm going to use the short end to then have the leverage to make that nice and tight. And you'll notice I only did about a quarter turn at the most to make that tight. Anything more is not necessary and may harm the scope. So if you have a table like this, you can access the pre-cut hole here. If you want to drill your own hole, I would suggest having it closer to the back of the table, which is the angle in which we're viewing the table. And you'll need about a little over a quarter inch drill bit. And wherever you drill is where that's, that hole is going to stay. In this example, we're just going to take advantage of this hole here. So one other thing I forgot to mention is this baggie here has the knob that's going to be screwing onto here. So we're going to pull that out and take advantage of that here. So lifting the whole microscope up like we were showing before, we're going to feed that screw into here and place it. And then from underneath, we're going to place this plate here. And then we're going to use the knob to then thread this on here. And you might find that doing this with a friend might be more beneficial, just so that you can have someone hold the microscope for you while you thread this on. So one of the reasons why we want to consider this is you can see this bolt extends quite far. So if our table is really thick, we can use this bolt to take advantage of any custom tables that we may be mounting this to. So finishing this off, we're going to just make it snug and then we're going to do one more turn. And now that's nice and steady. So now that we have it fully mounted, then we can rotate it forward taking advantage of the full length of our table. And then we can walk around and be ready to take on clients.